Hello and thanks for joining us this week here on What's the Story. We're with uh, two of the members from uh, Imperial Teen this week, our uh, special musical guests. So guys, go ahead and uh, tell us who you are and what you do in the band. My name is Will, and I play guitar and sing in the band and some percussive instruments. My name is Lynn, <laughs> and I play drums. Oh, hello. <laughs> My name is Lynn, and I play drums. Hi, Lynn. And I play bass, and I sing, and I occasionally pick up a guitar, but All nobody right. really knows that. And, and makeup. Um, oh, lots of makeup. So the, the thing I guess we're uh, here to talk about right now is the upcoming release of your uh, newest LP, which is uh, uh, What's Not to Love. What? So no, 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 no. It's called What Is Not what to is Love. What Is Not oh, to Love. Oh, okay. And it's not really a question. It's just a statement. What is not to love? Okay, so... I know it's in inherently a question if there's a what in a sentence, but we're defying that rule. All right, so... Um, I guess the biggest uh, thing that I noticed from the, the two albums, because um, they sent me an advanced copy, is, um, um, well, I guess it actually it's not something I noticed, but um, on the first record, you guys recorded after being together for just a really short time, and so on this record, you guys have been together now for you know, the previous record and all the time in between, so can you tell me um, how that affected uh, the difference in the way you wrote together? Lynn? Oh. I will. Anybody? Well, yeah, I mean... The first record was, as you said, recorded in a week, and the songs were written um, very, I mean, it was, the whole, the whole process was very spontaneous, you know, and um, it, it actually was for the, the second um, batch of songs also, <clears throat> but we did have more time on it, and, uh, you know, there are more layers on the second record because of it. And we also didn't have to put every single song that we recorded on the record because we had some extra songs, you know. So it was nice to be able to choose a little bit. All right. So as I as I was listening to this record, um, I noticed uh, more so than on the last record that it has uh, a definite. Well, I don't want to categorize you guys in a way that you don't want to be categorized, but just just what I heard. But it definitely has um, a uh, uh, almost uh, nerd rock uh, like uh, the first Weezer album, uh, The Rentals, that style. Um, not the second record does. The second record. Interesting. That's that's what I thought when I listened to it. Um, with you know songs like Lipstick, definitely should be a single, so you know. But so um, is that something you guys have thought of, or, or would you never categorize yourself as that? Absolutely Nerd rock? not. No. <laughs> no. No. I'm afraid not. <laughs> okay. Well, then I guess I'll have to move on. Um, so, <laughs> uh, one thing that I think is really cool about uh, the, this band is. Uh, that you guys uh, have come from pretty different musical backgrounds to uh, form this thing called Imperial Teen. So you want to tell us a little bit about that? No. Next. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you shoot down two of my main yeah. format questions. No, we, we've <laughs> definitely come from a lot of different places and spaces, but um, I think that's what is so good. Because we all, you know, like when we're driving around, tooling around in the van, we, you know, we all bring our own CDs mm -hmm. and we share and we just... Try to appreciate each other's musical tastes, etc. So, and that comes all into like rehearsals or switching instruments. Al is, is adds a whole kind of new thing too to um, writing or creating like songs. And yeah, I mean you can hear in the songs that it's not homogenous. You know, our sound. It's kind of there's a lot of we're <coughs> influenced by everything. You know. I mean, which includes all of our personal passions, you know. Okay. So, um, can you uh, tell me uh, when this new record is going to be out and when people can actually go and get it? Well, <laughs> well, I feel like I gotta <laughs> sing this <laughs> answer to you, <laughs> baby. Um, let's see, it's going to come out in January. It's supposed in to January? Yeah, oh isn't okay. that so sad? <laughs> Well, they sent me the uh, advanced copy, yeah. so I thought that was pretty close. It was that. really close, and then there was some trouble. <laughs> okay. So trouble in River City. Yeah. We're like a victim of circumstance, and um, just all the forces that be, we just decided that maybe we should just wait. Along with some other people, we decided that we should wait. Okay. I'll smile and agree with that. Okay. <laughs> all right, so on, on your first record, um, I know that you got to work with uh, Steve McDonald. I don't, I don't know who you worked with on this one, but... Steve McDonald. Steve McDonald, okay, that's uh, definitely an awesome thing. Um, Mark Freeguard. Among others, We yeah. worked with... Um, Mark Freeguard recorded the, m the musical part of the record with us, and Steve recorded the vocal part. Okay, so... Um, what 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 is it like uh, working with someone who's been in music for as long as he is? Like, what did he bring to you guys as far as a producer wise? Well, he really brought like 
the main thing about Steve is he has a fantastic energy, you know, and that's what he brings to the recording, just his energy and his knowledge and his stories and, you know, and aesthetic and... And a name. And a great dance. He's a great dancer. Dance is incredible. But yeah, he's got... He not a really name, really. I don't think it's really... He's surpri he didn't, yeah. not, not that we didn't have, like, we didn't think he would be great, but he really surpassed our expectations even and, and all those things that we'll mention. He's very knowledgeable and like, you know, keys and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, and, and he makes us all really comfortable. Like if we're feeling a little uh, weakness or something uh -huh. or not as confident, he he's can deal with that really well. Okay. We laugh a lot. Yeah. I'm gonna think that's really And his girlfriend calls and we sort of adore her. So it's, it was pretty nice all the way around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So is there one last thing you guys want to tell us about the new record? Um, one last well, thing. it's a pop record. Not nerd rock? Not nerd rock, no. I don't, I don't relate to that, really. <coughs> it's a pop record. It's um, something that, you know, it, people can absorb pretty easily, you know, but there's... There's a lot of stuff going on there, you know, and like there's a lot of stuff going on in our lives. And we we bring that to our music, you know. All right. Well, great. Thanks you. Thank you very much uh Thanks, and Dan. thank you. And uh stick around for another live song from these guys coming up next year on What's the Story.